Hello and welcome to another episode of Perennial Diarrhea. I am Tim. <laughs> I'm thoroughly confused. <laughs> I didn't know what we were doing. I was like, are you going to say anything? Or are we just going to sit here? Are we just going to look just at the camera? Here. Let's Awkward do that way. for a minute. Awkward silence. Let's do that. When you folks think we're really looking at you, we can't see you. <laughs> I have a pen. Anything good happen this week? Just another week in paradise. How about you? I broke, Tell us a good story. I broke a resolution. Oh, so that was quick. <laughs> Which one did you break? The not hurting myself one. Oh, that you did. What'd you do? Let's tell the story. Punctured my eardrum with a Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> That was my associate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your family associate. My family associate. <laughs> so would you like to tell the story of how you punctured your earring with a Q-tip? My eardrum? Yes. You would ask a earring. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I would, but I don't Thanks, know exactly talent. how it happened. It's just how. Uh, so it was now, like day three of the year. <laughs> the list of like saw, hammer, ladder. Bottle opener, can opener, Q-tip, and just keeps growing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? I don't know. You picked it. We're talking about... <laughs> love the, the research. <laughs> I do zero work. I'm this just, show is so prepared. I'm playing dad role today. Yeah. And I'm playing my role. This is going to be an interesting show. No, we, we decided we were going to talk about poltergeist, which was kind of... When I got into it, it was different than kind of what I... Thought. The movie? No, this is there was a movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. This what about the one where the, the kid got trapped inside the TV? Mommy. I'd be like, see you kid, we'll make another one. Mommy, where are you? <laughs> so these things, I think that was a little unrealistic because like according to this research, there are a type of ghosts that's really responsible for like physical disturbances, destroying objects, loud noises, moving things, foul smells. They're aliens. They are aliens. It's uh, been playing you today. <laughs> <laughs> you got the fun part. Huh? So let me give you a definition of where the word poltergeist comes from. Okay? Well, sure. So polter comes from the word poultry, meaning chicken, and geist comes from the German word gerst, meaning sausage. So they're really just chicken sausage. <laughs> so we're going to talk about chicken sausages today. So you like, make yes, <laughs> very good. You got one right. <laughs> um, but they've been known to pinch, bite, hit and trip people. So maybe that's where your problems are coming chicken in. Chicken sausages are mean. I'm telling you, those dang little chicken sausages. <laughs> you know, chicken sausages also move furniture. They levitate objects. Like, ooh. Look, I can levitate an object. Ooh. Are you impressed? No, took my toy away. Um, uh, they 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 can cause spontaneous fires. This kind of sounds like you. <laughs> I am I'm a poltergeist. <laughs> they have electrical issues, <laughs> plumbing issues. <laughs> sounds all right. Uh, but but these spirits kind of follow a person instead of a place, according to a lot of the research. Much like myself. Yes, okay. yes. Um, they date back to the first century. Oh, no. So you're out. <laughs> but they become more common in the 17th century. So you're closer. <laughs> uh, but uh, I found some examples of some of them. And one of them you're going to realize, and I didn't realize this was classified as a poltergeist. Um, it was the among hum hunting case of 2014 known as the Demon House. From from that Jack Bacon's. I like bacon. Bacon and chicken. Oh, that's an amazing sandwich. It's a bacon's. Oh, is that like vegans? It's the dude's name. But they only eat beans. From Ghost Adventures. So bacon's are vegans that only eat beans. The guy with the hat. It's really old. Oh, 
But anyway, so I thought you would find that kind of cool because they were considered poltergeist. Interesting because it's literally called the Demon House. I know, which didn't make sense to me. Is that um, like uh, someone's opinion? Well, three different things that I researched said it was. Someone's opinion. No, said it. That's what it was classified. Oh, that was the general. Opinion. Now, I guess whoever classifies it has to have an opinion. Who's classifying these things? Uh, that would be me. <laughs> so they're all chicken sausages. You seem super qualified Hot, for that job. Spicy and somewhere in between. Super qualified. I am. I can classify those things. What is that? That is a poltergeist chair. Oh, that's your pointing to my. No, that's your chopra. <laughs> Your show for it. But here's one I didn't know of. The actual Bell Witch here in Tennessee is considered a poltergeist. Poltergeist. Bullshit. A bullshit. It's a demon witch. Nope. It's a poltergeist. No, it's a demon witch. Has it ever killed anybody? Yes. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Can you prove it? What's that? What was that guy's name? Who? The dad. Pineapple? John Bell. John Bell. Right? That was his name? No. No. What's his name? Yeah, say, he's John Bell. No, I went to school with John Bell. He's still alive. I see him on social media, and I don't even look at social media. I don't have it anymore. It's like stepbrothers. He used to smoke pot with Johnny Hopkins. Did you pass that? <laughs> no. No anyone named Johnny Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things they, they also notated was the Amityville house from the Amityville Horror. Yes. So that's a poltergeist. And I think it was kind of fictional at the end because it, they never said anything about the, the poltergeist eating the house like it does at the end of the movie. <laughs> and if a poltergeist has a house, then they have really bad constipation because wouldn't it be hard to crap a house? I think the house disappearing was a purely... Um, theatrical. Theatrical. But did the house really disappear? <laughs> I don't know that the house from that movie is real. Is that based on a real story? I don't know. But there is what one called Amityville. The, the kind of always do. <laughs> Barely any. I scratched the surface <laughs> of the yeah, chicken. Amityville is really well known. Yeah. But I scratched the surface sure of the chicken the sausage. Guys. I think the investigator um, said that was like. Well, why would their opinions matter more than these Some dark experts? Shit. I don't know. What well, if you ate wood that had been molded, you probably would have dark crap. But there's one really cool one I want to talk to you about. This is the one I kind of did a deep dive on because it was the one that interests me, and you'll understand why when I tell you about this. Jeff. The talking mongoose. <laughs> it's, it's serious. Why are you laughing? Because I can this just is serious. I can just picture this little mongoose talking. I want, I want a burger. A Disney movie. You walk into your farmhouse. It's like I want a burger. We'll give the mongoose a burger. What's the big deal? If if he wanted chicken, chicken sausage, eating chicken, would that be cannibalism? Hmm. Anyway, so he inhabited the farmhouse of the Irwins. Maybe it's a boyfriend that you don't listen to. Yes, it really is. Because this is the fun stuff. <laughs> Jeff, the talking mongoose. Oh, Jeff's so scared. Jeff's so scared. You're like, let me tell you about this talking mongoose. Well, the, because it's cool. <laughs> have you ever had I think our definitions of cool are vastly different. A talking mongoose. Um, no. You have that. Probably a good reason for that. <laughs> but they spell his wrong. Like, they spell his name like Geff, G E F. But it says it's pronounced Jeff. But I'm gonna call him Geff the Talking Mongoose. This was in 1931, and he inhabited the farmhouse of the Irvings, and he would talk. Where was could, this? In the farmhouse of the Irvings. No, no, no. I mean, it's like over in England. Where in the world is Jeff the Talking Mongoose? <laughs> I want to meet Jeff the Talking Mongoose. This is cool. Do they have mongoose? Because I can mon picture it, like... It's the plural mongoose. Mon mongoose? <laughs> mongoose. Mongooses. I could just see this farmer walking in in 1931 with his little pitchfork and his little bucket to go milk the cow. And he... You need a pitchfork to milk well, the cow. Well, you got to cure the cow and give the milk. Betsy? 
Milk, bitch. Milk or steak? Which is it today? <laughs> <laughs> he's him walking in, he's over there, and he sits down, he starts smoking, and he's talking to himself. Man, I sure am tired. Then he hears in the background, well, I'm a little tired, too. <laughs> ah, I'm guess. <laughs> I'm a mongoose. <laughs> you think he said, hi, I'm Geff, and I'm a mongoose? Well, somebody had to tell his name. It had to be him, right? Because the farmer would have known his name. I'm Geff. I'm a mongoose. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Okay, home. so he... <laughs> Are you saying he went out to milk a cow and there was this mongoose in the barn and it was like his dog? No, I'm saying what if. <laughs> oh. Okay, so <laughs> tell me... Tell me... It said that... that what what it said happened, which I think my story's better. It said the farmer went out and he would hear like voices. Yes. You know, and he would hear something talking. Mm -hmm. And he knew it wasn't the cow because he was milking it. <laughs> and then he heard from the from the corner, "Hi, I'm over here." But he traced. He he followed the voices, and he found the mongoose. And the mongoose was talking. Did it speak to him? Yes. It said, "I'm Geff." It said yes. He found the mongoose, and the mongoose spoke to him. But, but which brings me to my next story. Don't do crack. Yeah, was this guy like a heavy drinker? That's what I'm wondering. What did he have? Did he have moonshine in the in the barn? But anyway, so the whole family was witness to this and everything, and they all heavy drinkers. Yeah. So I mean, but everybody saw. Yes, the talking mongoose. He needs to become a mascot. For what? For our show. We should rename our show Gift the Talking Mongoose Show. What what would his voice sound like? What do you think a mongoose's voice would sound like? <laughs> would it be like a, a deep poltergeist voice like oh, No, it's a mongoose. Like Gif. Gif, I'm the talking mongoose. Was it so I'm i I'm assuming that it was not an evil thing. It never really Because it, it was, was a fucking mongoose. <laughs> It was mischievous. It would move things and misplace things and hide its nuts. I had this conversation at Christmas, not about the talking mongoose. About a mongoose. About you were talking guy. about Kev. I'm gonna come back and haunt people, but I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be like funny about it. You'd be like Kev, the talking mongoose. <laughs> like you, like like you and Teresa are sitting there watching a scary movie, and like something happens on screen. And y'all are like, ah, and I'm like, oh, really? Watch this. <clears throat> and I like throw shit at you. You're like, oh, she's back. <laughs> Why did I assume that I would die first? I don't know. I was kind of wondering that too. <laughs> Have you been talking to Geff or something? <laughs> but what would, I mean, seriously, what would a mongoose voice sound like? I really want to know now. Like, do you hear <laughs> 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 what was what was that line from Pee Wee Herman? There's things about me you shouldn't know, or something like that. He tells the girl who oh, no. who knew what he was really talking about at the time. Like if it was uh, if it was down south, it would sound like uh, Ernest. Ah, I'm Gaff. It would sound like Ernest. <laughs> I'm Gaff. <G> <laughs> what if it was English? I don't know that I can do that. Tell it. Chat, what do they say? To ask another Oh, I'm Goff. I don't know what it is. Who is that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a talking mongoose. Who knows? <laughs> this is the coolest thing yet. Though, Have besides... there been any other reports of the talking mongoose since then, or is this. Uh, well, there was a few reports, but it was all from the Irving family. Oh. As the time passed on. I'm starting to think that that family is not exactly what you would call. Mentally stable. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Speaking of not mentally stable. So, but you don't believe they guess the talking mongoose? Nah. I'm going to have to say no. I think, here's my thought, in all honesty, I think this was some kind of gimmick. And I think the farmer was a ventriloquist that could throw it. Did, he make, did they make money off of it? Uh, they did make, they did like tours and stuff. They did like tours and stuff, so I think that. Oh. Yeah. So I think the ventriloquists, because you know you could like see Jeff Dunham with a talking mongoose. I do too. I want a talking mongoose. A talking mongoose would be amazing. Go over there and get me something out of the fridge.
Get your dang self. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Because, Other people that can say that to you. Because I'm talented, know. watch, I can levitate my pee and move there. Oops. Denied. <laughs> what was that on the Ghostbusters? The Gozar the Gazarian, the Destroyer, or whatever? Gozer? I don't know. I wonder if they talked to Geth. But that's the coolest story. Geth, a talking mongoose. I don't believe it. You don't believe in Geth. Uh -uh. You don't get any presents from Geth this year. <laughs> That's a thing. Okay. So then they had like um, some others that I never heard, like Matthew Manning. Which I thought, I wonder if they're related to Peyton Manning. Then I thought, maybe that's why the Mannings are such good quarterbacks. They're poltergeists. Ah. Or aliens. Tipa Cabra. <laughs> A talking chupacabra. Maybe that's what the talking what would you, was. What would you name your talking chupacabra? Charlie, the talking chupacabra. Yeah. So, Naming Chad. Yeah. <laughs> the talking chupacabra. <laughs> and then, of course, the Amarillo case. Uh, something that is Spanish that I really can't read, so I'm not even going to say it. And then a men's haunting case, which is the demon house, which is, you, you've seen the show on that or something. Yeah, it was a documentary. Which kind of confuses me on this because this, these articles said the poltergeist kind of followed the people, but then in that documentary, didn't they like move the dirt or something and the spirits followed the dirt? It's, maybe it's Joe Dirt. I think he took some of the dirt to the haunted museum. There was something you told me, yeah. But like, I don't know. I don't know if it followed the dirt. I know that he demolished the house and there's some conflicting reasons as to why or conflicting opinions as to why I should say. I wonder if Geff the mongoose moved there. No, because some people say, you know, like he said, he did it to, I guess, eradicate the evil that was there. But, but then other people are like, no, he did it because this was all made up and he didn't want anybody else to be able to go in there oh. and investigate it. Well, here's what I'm wondering. But I don't know. And also, here's, here's what I'm wondering. If poultry guys follow people, if you destroy a house, wouldn't the poultry guys still, like, move with the people? I don't know. Is it a poultry guy that's tied to an item or a person? It or says a they, they're usually tied to particular persons. Then I would say that it would follow the people. What? But, like, in the movie, and I know this is, like, has nothing to do with factual anything, but in the movie, they were okay because it stayed. Yeah, but they have GPS now. So, the, and the poker guys can ping your phone and find your location. <laughs> well, you're laughing at that one. <laughs> General poker guys location services. <laughs> Apple has a Ouija board. <laughs> Dang it, I knew Elon Musk was an alien. <laughs> He's smart as fuck. Have you, that's one, have you ever experienced anything? I'm like, damn, that? save a little intelligence for the rest of mankind. <laughs> knowing, knowing your capacity for injury, have you ever experienced anything like something tripping you that really wasn't there? Look, I'm levitating it. I've stepped in some ghost holes. But <laughs> <laughs> I just over my own feet for Wait, absolutely no reason whatsoever. We're going to take this show in a different direction. What is a ghost hole? It's where, it's where you trip or misstep and there's nothing there to cause it. It's just... We call that a Tiffany. I always say ghost hole. Instead of having an epiphany, you had a Tiffany. <laughs> but I don't know. I just really think it would be cool to have a talking mongoose. Well, then that'd be the coolest thing. I, I see. This is why you don't let me do the research because I find something like this. This is almost as good as the ghost that slaps your butt. Mistakes were made. And what was the one in the? In I literally the, said I don't want to do any work this week, and this is the result of that. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a fun show. But I guarantee you, now people are going to start looking up Geff the Talking Mongoose. He's going to become a celebrity. It's the gift, the talking mongoose show, mm -hmm. taking over Conan O'Brien's spot. We have the following, but um, 
we think we do, or you think we do. <laughs> Just you turned me loose with the project of the research. And this is what you get. I bet this will never happen again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You are correct, sir. But I mean, some of the other ones, it was all like, it was like the same stuff, you know, the thing scares the people, causes accidents around the house, destroys things, that's what they do. Never takes things, does this, do that. That's also and what then, demons do, so. Yeah, so what's the difference? Mm -hmm. I guess, I think the one thing, the me. one thing I was kind of Maybe researching, the one thing I was researching, what, holler? No. The one thing I was I researching with poltergeist is I couldn't find anything of where they were really like hurting people. So maybe that's the difference. You know, and I've I've read in my spare time <laughs> um, some things that said um, poltergeists are actually they're manifested by. Um, I don't know how else to say it, like big feelings. So like repressed feelings. So repressed so, anger, repressed sadness, all that stuff, that energy manifests physically so, in, in your surroundings. So do you think that's more? Uh, so that's another, it's just another um, theory. That's what, but that's kind of interesting because, you know, we only use like a small percentage of our brain power. Yes. So I wonder some less than others. <laughs> ah, I'm Gail. I'm a mongoose. <laughs> you made me forget my own point then. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> it's because my research is on fire. Oh, it's because cause poltergeist starts fires. It's on. <laughs> but what was that? Oh, yeah, brain power. So do you think it's actually, I don't want to say your mind playing tricks on you, but things are really happening because people have that capacity because everything's so pent up when it comes out that they could levitate stuff. Let's try to put your thing down, see if I levitate it. Pretty. Oh, you have to have a lot of, like, built up, like, repressed. Watch. Wait a minute. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There it went. And you don't because, I mean, you do have a lot going on, but you don't repress it. You call me. I impress it. <laughs> I repress a lot of things, but there's nothing going on here. What does repress mean? It means you stuff it down in there. Would the wooden come out the other end? No. How about years of built up repressed feelings, negative feelings? So you're going to become. I should probably, person. maybe at some point, seek some therapy. <laughs> you're, you're, Will I? You should probably have therapy. You could just, you could always talk with Jeff the Talking Mongoose. I don't know. anymore. The yellow pages. Hmm. Maybe they've been repressed. <laughs> Get it repressed. <laughs> By the way, we did this whole show last week that I thought was fairly good for not having done a show in a while. It didn't even, but your, your... The sound wasn't working, and I didn't even realize it until I went to edit the video, and then I was like, Dad didn't fucking plug his mic in. Because <laughs> it was only your sound. But then he was like, I plugged my mic in. And yeah, I it was plugged in. Maybe you're fibbing a little, and that's okay. No, it, seriously, it was <laughs> plugged in. No, I have not checked. I checked it was plugged in, but I've not put my bifocals on to see if it was checked into the speaker or the input. So it could have been in the wrong place, because I didn't have my bifocals on when I plugged them in. And your mic was easy to plug in, because it goes in the big, different type of... I miss my yeah. mic. It makes me feel professional. I like my mic. Why don't we have travel mics? I should have brought them. I should have brought the soundboard. I didn't oh, think I about didn't. it. Because I was too busy prepping. Did <laughs> you did this today? No. Maybe. I'd like to say I can't tell, but I can tell. No, you would have never found Jeff the Talking Moose. I wouldn't have wanted to share that. I spent time on Jeff the Talking Moose. 
one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one. <laughs> Our audience of one will love gifts to tell people. I have more. I, I don't uh, insult the viewers we do have. Okay. Our vast audience. Well, I mean, don't get carried We're, away. Okay, our audience of somewhere between one and vast. <laughs> are respectably sized. <laughs> Did you just hear these? Okay, classes go on the list now, too. <laughs> My hair is like doing something crazy today. I don't, have I don't have no hair, so I don't worry about it. I'll just put on a hat. So anyway, that's about. I know. That's about all I have on Poltergeist. I just kind of got on that tangent with Gift the Talking Mongoose, and that was kind of hooked me in. But you shouldn't be surprised because, like on the ghost, the lady, the lady in blue that slapped people. You look for the ridiculous. Yeah, I, I look, look for, for the, the things that might have some merit, and you look for the most ridiculous <laughs> shit. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> the, tell me, gift the top of moose is not funny. It is. Now, you had a good one. Remember your guy? Uh, oh, what was his name? From the hotel. Remember the lady in blue that slapped butts when we stayed there? That was you. And then you had... I can't believe I can't remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch the show again. Did you watch it the first time? Yes. And we made fun of the, the guy's name. Or not fun of, but we used the guy's name a lot because it was funny. Was he like a mobster? Yes. But he was a nice mobster. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he, he had a pet gift to talk him with. Mm. was his pet. And he left him in the farm. When the feds came after him, that's it. Geff the talking mongoose was a mobster's pet. He knew all the secrets. That's why they had to shut him up. <laughs> sure, sure. We'll go with that. What was his name? I cannot remember it. Okay. I will remember it. Okay. For the next show, maybe. Then I'll forget. What are we doing on the next show? I don't know. On the spot right now, Something on the spot, so whatever you research. <laughs> I think we should do. Um, what do you want to do? I don't know. You want to research the Amberville Harm? I think we already did that when we did hauntings. Oh, did we? Maybe. Yeah, I think we did. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we have to go back and check. Why don't you do some work, some in-depth detail on the Bell Witch, and let's see if we can decipher whether it's really a poltergeist or not. Because all Okay, so you want to dive down the rabbit hole of the Bell Witch. Well, I mean, we could do Geff the Talking Mongoose. No. Now. No, no, no. <laughs> Folks, if you want to hear Geff the Talking Mongoose again, please email in, and we will talk about Geff the Talking Mongoose. The hell was that? I had a thought and went away and I forgot what it was. Shocking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think this show's kind of gone down the gift, the, the talking monkey strain hole, just kind of. I'm just starting. Oh my God. <laughs> this was a good show. It was about Geff the Talking Mongoose. I'm literally saying it's his ass, and the fact that you keep saying Geff is irritating. It's spelled G-E-F. I don't care. <laughs> they said it's pronounced Jeff, but I'm calling him Geff. <laughs> if he wants me to call him Jeff, he can come tell me, and then I'll say, okay, we'll put him on the show. Maybe we should have him as a guest. Geff the Talking Mongoose live. You don't seem impressed by Geff. I really wanted you to wow me with your research, and this is what I got. So, I was going to say, just remember, you left me in charge of research. <laughs> this is what I got. You know how I am. If I'd have never found Geff, I was on the track of like getting into some pretty scary stuff. I do. 
<laughs> he does. We both do. We work together. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. And we interview everybody. Maybe that's the problem. We're not working together. Well, sure we are. I, I was <laughs> talking about <laughs> <the kids. laughs> And in, in all seriousness, oh, and, and let me just say this on the other show, he does more of the research side of it, and I do more of the comedy side, bringing stuff in and oh, having fun. Well, on this show, I do the research and the comedy. No, I'm usually comedy. No, but you're not funny. Oh, I'm hilarious. We've had this conversation <laughs> multiple times <laughs> on multiple different shows. That's my biggest fan. No. Checkmate. <laughs> I didn't know anything to do mates. I just did check. <laughs> Anywho. This has been fun. <laughs> I think it's an amazing show. I think it's been an outstanding show. Everybody will remember Geth the talking book. <laughs> look at your face when I say Geth. Geth. Mm. Geth. <laughs> Some closing thoughts on Poltergeist. I don't have any. You think we need to redo it and get some some really scary ones? I'm sorry. You know how my brain works. And if I found <sighs> something that's fun and amusing to me, I kind of got focused. No, I don't on. think we need to redo. We might revisit it and do like a horror series. Yes. Yeah. Is it this ever again? <laughs> <laughs> If you had one more glass of show prep, Jeff would have really been fun. You think so? Yes. Oh, okay. I have to work tomorrow, so. Yes. But anyway. <laughs> Get the last okay. drop in after that. <laughs> <laughs> but it did have a lot of examples of poultry guys, but I kind of got hung up on Jeff. I and I started researching Jeff. And I said, I oh, I that's how I usually do. I find the one that's funny to me and interesting that's weird that's different that's exciting anybody can do a boring show over the typical ones but who's going to do a show over Jeff we did that's right and I will regret it <laughs> for the rest of my life <laughs> okay alright I guess it's time to wrap it up so until next time keep on Jeffing fresh cheese bags <laughs> <laughs>